Hey there, y'all. Thank you for joining me today. Pardon me if I've got some flyaways with my hair. The wispies, I was trying to put them down, but the wispies were like, never! So anyway, today I want to mention something I kind of briefly touched on in a recent video, and that is the home remedy that I was using on my sore throat. Now, I haven't gotten the test results back to confirm that it's strep, but my doctor and I are pretty confident that's what it is. And um, it wasn't so much that I had throat issues, but more tongue issues because I've been having what I believe is strep throat issues off and on for several months. Now, because mine has been going on for so long off and on, um, I was pretty sure this wouldn't be a cure for me. However, it did help alleviate the symptoms for me to the point that even my doctor mentioned, well, it's not all that yeasty. I said, well, it was a little more, it being my tongue, there was a little more yeast, you know, that white stuff on it, but because of the home remedy, that helped. Now, this is not for the faint of heart. In fact, the lady that I got this from her blog said, you know, it's for those that are brave. And of course, you know me, I like a challenge. So I was like, okay, well, cool. I'll try it. Now I'm a wimp. I don't like hot stuff, but if it's a remedy and it's short term and I know it's just for a little bit, then I'll go ahead and try it. So, um, I'd been using some of the ingredients. Now, let me just stop and say, I'm not going to share the entire recipe. I'm just going to share the ingredients. If you would like to see the recipe to try it yourself, check the links below. It may take me a little bit of time before I get it up. So definitely come back to this video. Reason being, I upload these straight from my phone and then I have to wait till I get to a PC for me to be able to add additional information such as links, etc. I'm sure there's a way to do it. I just don't usually have the time right then to do it and it's just easier to do on an actual computer. Anywho, so this particular recipe I was interested in because, um, I believe the testimony. Now, I don't believe everything I read on the internet. Let me just say that right now. However, her story is that she was pregnant and she had a sore throat, went to the doctor and had a culture taken and the doctor prescribed her some antibiotics. Now, it was like a Thursday or Friday and she wouldn't get the culture results until the next week. And so out of um, consideration for her child, she wanted to try to do a home remedy first before having to do an antibiotic. And so she compiled this particular recipe from multiple that she found online. And then she's tweaked it over the years through additional sore throats that have come and gone, I think with both her and her children. Anywho, the reason I was convinced was she treated her strep throat and the, like all the symptoms disappeared. And it was in, fir in fact confirmed to be strep throat because the next week the culture results came back and said, yep, strep throat. So while once again, I wasn't sure that mine would be um, completely taken care of by this remedy, I could at least alleviate some of the symptoms and that was proven to be true. So the main ingredients are water, apple cider vinegar, raw honey, and then the hot stuff is cayenne pepper. Now I did use a little more cayenne pepper than is in her recipe. Um, only because, you know, I knew I had a pretty strong case and I wanted to make sure to like really give it a go. But as with any home remedy, you have to do things consistently. And I did mine, let's see, my throat or my tongue got sore on Thursday, found the recipe Friday night. I did the recipe on Saturday and it's kind of an all day or most of the day, maybe half a day kind of thing, because you got to do like every 15 minutes for the first hour, then you can decrease the amount of time until you use it all up. Well, it's intense. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty hot. So I didn't do it Sunday. Um, and so yesterday my tongue was getting sore again. And so I was like, okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and do the remedy again. But again, because I knew that mine had been there a while and it wasn't like I was catching it early on, I went ahead and made an appointment for the doctors today because I knew an antibiotic would most likely be needed to kick it fully out of my system. And then I'll be able to have a chance to repopulate my gut, recolonize the colon. <laughs> and then um, from there, 
maybe if I start feeling it again, hopefully next year, if then, you know, I'd prefer not to have to deal with it again. But at that point, then I can try the remedy and with it being early on, maybe that would be able to take care of it without having to have the expense of a doctor's appointment and an antibiotic. Anywho, once again, if you're interested, check below. I will put the link to that particular blog post and I'm not a doctor. I'm just sharing what I experienced. Again, it did not take care of my issue completely, but it did help alleviate the symptoms until I was able to get into the doctor's office for um, further medicinal help. <laughs> All right, y'all have a wonderful day and God bless.